My Instagram grew without me really even focusing on it because the thing about Instagram is the fastest way to actually grow is for people to go and find you. Okay, guys, good morning. How's it going? Amazing to see your beautiful, smiling faces. How's it going? My name is Mike Vestile. Welcome to this episode. In today's episode, I want to talk about Instagram, but more importantly, before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I drop more of these videos teaching people how to make money online, grow an audience, whatnot. You guys know all the shindig. With that being said, I want to talk about Instagram because I had a very interesting conversation with my girlfriend the other day. You know, every single Saturday, uh, in the time I'm recording, this is Sunday, so that was yesterday, uh, we have this thing known as what is known as a love day, where we literally just go hang out, we don't do any work, and we just be present with each other, and uh, we just talk about what we've learned throughout the week, right? And and it's, it's time to actually, like, help with our intimacy, right? And yesterday, we were talking about, you know, our personal brands. You know, she works online, I work online. We both depend on our social brand and our personal brand to actually make a living online. And she was talking about how she's going to be hiring other bloggers to do advertising for her Instagram so that she could actually grow her following. Because what she does is she sells her courses to Russian people, teaching them how to speak English. That's like her interesting niche, right? And it got me thinking on Instagram and how so many people are going to Instagram to make a living, to put their word out there, to really build their brand, to share their message, to just be like able to attract more people to come buy their product services. Maybe they want sponsorships or whatnot. Other than that, they just want to grow Instagram mostly for like a monetary value, right? Like the reason why you want to grow your Instagram following other than of course, to brag to your friends, how cool you are. Like what I did when I started posting all these like travel pictures on my Instagram uh, before I really stopped focusing on it and whatnot. But the reason why people want to get into Instagram is so that they can make money. Am I right? Or I'm, I'm really curious. What's the reason why you want to actually grow your following? Comment below. But it was actually really curious, you know, because she's kind of like working really hard to get to 10,000 followers. And here I am really not really focusing on my Instagram account at all. As you can see, it gets like a pretty good engagement and likes for my post, I guess, when like my shirt is off. And I did the entire thing where you do the traveling and you look out into the distance and you look to the left and the right and you never look at the camera because the more you don't look at the camera and you show more skin and you show an epic scenery, the more likes you'll actually get. I went through that entire phase to grow my Instagram. I even did all of like the hashtagging thing to think, oh, maybe I could like game the algorithm to just show up. But after, you know, building this and not even really focusing on my Instagram, my Instagram is still like technically growing without me really focusing on it. Right? So what I wanted to do, if you're here, is you're probably wondering, okay, well, how can I get to 10,000 followers so I have like that swipe up feature? That was the biggest reason why I wanted to get to 10,000 because if I get the swipe up feature, then I could start selling products on my Instagram and start making money and start continuing to travel. That was like my reason, right? So I, I would look at so many articles on how to actually grow similar to how like my girlfriend is doing right now. She's like, okay, the best way to pay bloggers or Instagram bloggers to shout me out on their Instagram story so that they follow me. But at that point, I started really thinking, I'm like, you know what? I don't think that's the most efficient way possible. And if that's what she's doing and she's somebody that I want to give, you know, a good nudge in the right direction to, I don't want her to waste time. I don't want her to waste money. I, I really care about her. And I wanted to give her advice to grow her Instagram. I was thinking, well, maybe I could give this exact same advice to you guys because I love and respect you guys. And I, I don't want you guys to waste your time or money or any of your heartache to figure this out. Because the problem is most people kind of, you know, Google things like when I Google, oh, ways to grow your Instagram followers in 2020 and beyond. This is literally what I see. Should I try gaming the algorithm? What are the best hashtags? How do I write good Instagram captions? How do I optimize Instagram bio? How do I use stories and lives to grow my Instagram? What kind of images should I post on Instagram? Now, the problem with growing your Instagram when you get started is so many people think that the only way to grow your Instagram is by these seven foolproof strategies to grow your Instagram followers in 2020 organically and beyond. And I can't tell you how big of like a BS that is. You know, everyone thinks, oh, the way to grow Instagram is to just post more, do the Gary Vaynerchuk method and just comment and spam on everybody else's thing. But I tell you this, like my Instagram grew without me really even focusing on it because the thing about Instagram is the fastest way to actually grow is for people to go and find you. And the problem with this is no one's going to find you unless they type in your name. Like if they type in Mike Vasile, that is the only time they're actually going to find me. Other than all these other people that like, I guess, you know, making fake accounts 
of me as well. But that's a problem. It's hard to get fined because Instagram isn't a place where really people find you. Instagram's a place where you want to bond with somebody that you already know. Like, for example, I uh, watched Love is Blind on Netflix, right? I saw that and I even saw Hot, Too Hot to Handle, which is like this weird reality TV show. And from there, I was like, wow, these people live an interesting life. I want to follow them on Instagram. I want to get to know them even more. I want to see into the day-to-day -day life. And because of that, I literally saw an episode on Netflix. And then I was like, oh, what is their Instagram? And then I Googled it and then I found them on Instagram. That's how I found them right? You got to think about how are you finding the people that you follow? Most of the time, it's not even actually from Instagram. It's from some other platform. And the reason why people are actually following me isn't from these seven foolproof ways to grow. It's because number one, I defined who I actually wanted my followers to be. I'm like, okay, what are their dreams? What are their passions? What are their goals? What are their hobbies? And then one, once I started thinking about who I actually wanted to follow me on Instagram, I'm thinking, well, okay, what are their biggest pain points? You know, oh, they want to make money. They want to grow their social media. They want to sell courses. They want to sell digital products. They want to sell physical products. They want to build an email marketing list. They want to make money online. Okay, now that I know that, all I really need to do to find them is to go where they're hanging out. Well, one of the ways that they're hanging out, of course, is Instagram. But the problem with Instagram is it's very hard to grow just from Instagram alone. But I also know a lot of them are hanging out on YouTube, right? So when I, when I figure out all the things that, you know, the followers that I wanted were actually searching for, you know, their pain points, they probably are searching for things on YouTube uh, to actually fix some type of life or business problem in their life, right? If it's traveling, if it's making money, if it's doing something, most of the time, they're probably going to go to YouTube to find the answer. They might type in, for example, how to grow on Instagram. And they come in and they follow all of these people. And then they go to an episode or, and then they go to like a video like this, how to gain Instagram followers organically 2020. And the funny thing is in this video, like uh, she showed, she had, I think like 7,000 followers. But after this video, she got over like a hundred thousand followers. And you probably wonder why. It's because maybe the 5 million people that saw this video that she posted, you know, a year or two ago were like, oh, how to gain followers on Instagram. Maybe I should go and follow her. And then that grew her Instagram following. Do you see that she's leveraging like a different platform to then go and build her Instagram platform, but then out of nowhere, her YouTube channel like blew up. And that's the exact same thing that happened when I was watching like True to Hot Channel or Love is Blind, which is like I said, idiotic TV shows when you just want to kind of like dumbify your mind or you don't want to think about business all the time. Like what happens to me when I'm just like too focused on business. Sometimes I need to watch something stupid and relax my mind and just like binge watch on some Netflix every now and then. But I saw, but I literally saw this episode. I was like, who are they? They're interesting. I want to follow them in, in life. What do they do on a day to day? Okay. Let me follow them on Instagram. Same thing happened here. People are typing how to grow on Instagram. And then they find a video like this. It gets 5 million views. And guess what? Some of those 5 million views are probably going to go and find out where her Instagram account is. And the funny thing is, is she teaches people how to make money on Instagram, but all of her Instagram followers came from her YouTube channel. So essentially one of the best ways to grow your Instagram is actually start growing on YouTube. That's literally what I told my girlfriend. I'm like, okay, Alexa, that's her name. She wants to attract entrepreneurs that want to learn English so that they can make money. We got to ask yourself, okay, baby, what, what are they searching on on YouTube in Russian so that you can make a video and actually be found and be seen by people that are actively looking for you? Because the thing is, you don't understand. There are people that are actually trying to look for you. They just don't know where you are. And the problem with like Instagram is everyone's like doing these stories like, oh man, I got to do like 18 stories every single day. I need to post twice a day. I need to go take these pictures. I need to show my butt. I need to go do all these things. And the problem with all of that is the moment you stop, you, you no longer have a business. You no longer have the ability to constantly grow. What happens is Instagram turns into this like soul crushing job that you can never get out of. But the thing about YouTube is if you build your Instagram with a YouTube channel is there could be like hundreds of people that are actively looking for you every single day. The only thing that you got to do is just break down. If you found out who your followers actually were, if you just ask yourself, what are they searching for? and you create content about that, but instead of on Instagram, you put it on YouTube, then they will find your Instagram. Then they will find your Instagram. The problem with most people is like, you know, I was like posting all of these things and, and you could see exactly why I stopped. Right? The last thing that I did was like February 23, right? And that was like a long time ago. But you know, we were getting so much views and I'm just like putting so much content and I'm like doing two contents every single day. And I'm putting all these things and still for some reason, like my growth wasn't growing. And that's because my growth doesn't happen on Instagram. It has to happen from a different platform. I'm putting all this time doing things like how to find your inner purpose, the true benefit of breath work. The thing is people that are interested in breath work, how are they going to find me? 
like no one goes and finds like oh breath work on like you don't you don't go to Instagram to search for things that you're interested in right you go to YouTube to search for things that you're interested in and when you go to YouTube and you search for things that are interested and you're like oh my god this person is so cool I want to go find out the rest of their life and then you find their Instagram you know, think about every single big Instagrammer that you know, most of the times you probably saw them on YouTube. Like for example, I was like getting really into fitness, right? So I literally started binge watching this dude for the longest time. I'm like, I'm gonna get shredded like this guy. I'm gonna look good on my thumbnails. This is gonna be really cool if I like take my shirt off, maybe people are gonna click on the thumbnails and whatnot. But then I'm like, um, do I wanna actually do that? What if I just attract the wrong people? And then I started like binge watching on all of his YouTube's videos and then I found his Instagram and then I followed him. Now that's the secret. What if? I'm just saying, what if the goal and the secret to growing on Instagram is the exact same content that you're already posting on Instagram? What if you just searched it and you uploaded on YouTube instead? Well, you did both. And what if YouTube was actually the strategy that grew your Instagram account? As you can see, all these people that are talking about how I grew on Instagram actually grew on Instagram because they grew their YouTube channel. Like this person's getting 26,000 daily views to her channel. Do you think out of those 26,000 people that are watching her videos that maybe a couple hundred are going to go follow her on Instagram? Now, how hard is it to get 100 new followers if you just did Instagram alone? Think about this. No one's going to find you, right? But if you go in here, odds are they're going to find you. So how are you going to do that? Okay. Whatever niche that you're in, first, you got to figure out who you're serving. Okay. Are you serving the health and wellness people? Are you serving the dating people? Are you serving the personal development people? Are you focusing on the traveling people? One person that I found from Instagram that actually lives in Bali was this guy. I found him on YouTube and then I followed him on Instagram just like that. But you got to figure out who you're actually serving. Right? This is what this guy did. He's like, okay, I want to serve the traveling niche. So you just type in how to, and as you can see, here are all the video ideas that you could actually create. Why do I know this? It's because this is literally what people are searching for. This is the fastest way to actually grow on Instagram. And it blows my mind that people aren't actually doing this this year because all the other things that you see on the internet is just complete BS, right? But literally YouTube is literally telling you all the things that you want to grow on your Instagram. If you make this video, which you're probably already making when you're doing the stories every single day. Hey guys, I'm doing this or in my girlfriend's case, Kaktela eto moi channel in Russian. The thing is you're already creating this content to people that are most likely just your friends or the people that have been following you for years. You're not getting new eyeballs. New people aren't finding you. But when you create videos like this, I remember I did something like this in the weirdest of niches, right? Sexual transmutation and the ability of getting rich with this weird phenomenon, right? It's something that I never talked about, but for some reason, this video ended up blowing up and I ranked on like the first page for this. And now people are coming and finding me from this and then following me on Instagram. You could do this in virtually anything, whatever content that you are already creating on Instagram. What if, what if you just first created it on YouTube before putting it on Instagram, just type in here. Okay. What are people creating? Uh, if I wanted to make more, more videos like this, which on my second channel, I'm probably going to focus more on like spirituality and why not if you want to follow that. If you just want to focus on making money, just keep on checking this out. But as you can see, look at all these ideas that if I just made a video about this with these words on it, things that I'm already naturally talking about on Instagram. And at the end of this video, I'm like, hey guys, follow my Instagram account. Then they're going to go follow your Instagram account. If thousands of people are watching this every single day, thousands of new people that I have no idea and they don't know who I am, odds are some of those people, some of those thousands of people that are watching this every single day are going to stumble upon my Instagram, just like how I stumbled upon these people that I watch Netflix on in their Instagram, right? The problem, like I said, with Instagram is they're like, you're just hustling, you're just grinding. And, and the moment you stop, the moment you stop making money, the, the moment you stop growing, and it's very hard to get hundreds of followers every single day consistently. I'm telling you this though, if you have a YouTube video that for some reason goes viral because you literally just go and type in any of these videos like this, say you're in like weight loss, how to lose weight. Look at this. You probably make these videos or these posts all the time. What if you just repurpose them into YouTube videos? You get an idea because you know that this is exactly what your followers are talking about. This is what they're searching for. You put it up on YouTube and then at the end you're like, hey, follow me on Instagram. There's thousands of people that are searching this every single day. There are not thousands of people searching or going on hashtags or whatnot. That's why all of these advice that you see is just complete BS because every single Instagram follower 
or every single Instagram person that you follow, you did not find them most likely from Instagram. You found them because someone recommended them to you or you saw them on YouTube. Just really think about it before you waste any more time and money on just idiotic things to think that you could grow just because you wrote a good Instagram caption. Do you think that if I write the most amazing Instagram caption that you're going to magically find me? Just think about how you found me right now. Just, just kind of reverse engineer what I'm actually even doing right now. You did not find me on Instagram. You found me on YouTube. And then now because of that, you know my Instagram. It wasn't because of my amazing caption, which, you know, look how stupid this caption is. It's not the smartest of captions. I'm just literally putting that up because I know people aren't going to find my Instagram account. They're not going to find my traveling pictures when I wanted to be like a travel influencer from Instagram. They're going to find me from YouTube. How to optimize my Instagram bio. Your bio doesn't even matter. Stories, live streams to grow my Instagram. I was doing like 30 stories a day. My Instagram didn't even really grow. What kind of images should I post on Instagram? It doesn't matter. People don't follow people for images. They follow people because they're people. You go to Instagram because you're like, okay, I probably wonder what they're like in real life. Like what I did on the cast of Too Hot to Handle. I'm like, wow, these people are pretty entertaining. What do they do on a daily basis? What are they like? And how can I use IGTV to grow my following? Like I said, you know, when it comes to growing Instagram, I guess, to not beat this to the ground, the best way to grow on Instagram is to grow on another platform that's a lot easier to be found. It's very hard to be found on Instagram. Instagram is like a place where you want to hang out with people on a daily basis, but you don't hang out with people on a daily basis if you don't know who they are. You have to first go out, you know, go to a bar, go to a party, go where people actually hang out. You're not going to find, you know, the love of your life in your living room if no one's actually coming into your living room. You find them at the bar. Same way with people, they're not going to find you in your living room, which is your Instagram account. They find you at the bar, which is YouTube. They go up here, they have their problems. This is why it's so important to know exactly what are the main problems, what are their dreams, what are their goals, what are the ambitions of the people that you want to follow you. Because if you don't know what their dreams, goals, and ambitions are, then how are you going to create content to actually have them find you? The only way is if you make so amazing content on YouTube that somebody actually tells their friend, hey, stop right there. You need to follow this person. But you have to be so impressive for that. The only person that that's ever happened to me was, was this guy right here. This guy's Instagram was so impressive that I literally would just be walking around and I would just, you know, start talking about his Instagram because it was that so epic right? But the thing is, no one can make these epic of freaking pictures, right? This, like, this guy is like inhuman. This guy, <laughs> most people will not be this guy. But what most people can do is reach out and be like, hey guys, like literally do a little story, right? Do a little story and be like, hey guys, what are your biggest problems? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Put a little caption. They're going to tell you all of the things in the little surveys on what content you should create. And instead of creating it on Instagram, you go on YouTube, make the exact same video, type in some of the things, say some of them were like, oh, I want to learn how to not procrastinate anymore. Let's type that in, not procrastinate. Look at this, not procrastinate for a month, not procrastinate for a need, not procrastination, not lazy. How to not procrastinate on homework. All of these ideas, even if I just do something as simple as this, how to not procrastinate on homework. Look at this, 3.8 million people. And it's because they're searching it. And those 3.8 people could then find your Instagram. So if you just have a pretty decent of a personality and you focus on solving problems other than just trying to look freaking cool, like what I tried doing, which, you know, when I saw this guy, I was like, oh, I need to do the exact same thing. That's how I grow my Instagram. I literally did the cool thing. I did the cool thing. Guess what? This stroked my ego. This stroked my ego. But this did not grow my Instagram. Instagram account. So guys, hopefully this helps. What are your thoughts? Comment below. And um, how are you guys growing your Instagram channel this year? I'm really curious. Comment below. Like I said, if you really enjoyed this, give it a like. It really helps out grow this uh, channel. And if you want more just like rants like this, but more on just like all aspects of life, not just making money, subscribe to my second channel. And last but not least, this week we are holding a free workshop to help people that are just new make their first $5,000 a month online. You can just go to mikevaseal.com forward slash 5k. And for everybody else, I love you guys. I'm grateful for you guys. Keep on hustling when it comes to hitting your dreams. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take these guys. Peace out.